This scene uh, always made me wonder if the mayor like taking full control. Then I get uh, it would always be on. Its main job is to give orders to the rest, as the executive control of the rest of the brain. Can you like how the emotions are in your head have me executive but not full control? Is he, is he speaking for Frank or telling him what to say? They, they establish it for emergencies. And I can see this happening like you don't have time to think about your reaction, so you just react. Like it's not you, it's something inside you, like a mayor inside your head. Even when you say something, and not really you, something inside you, like a mayor inside your Someone in mind aspect of your personality or your character, governor inside you, inside your head, telling you what to say. Main executive order of your brain. Actually, that movie get a little more detailed in the series. Leah even talks to Frank. Leah even talks to Frank directly. See? And uh, he can. He doesn't have to let always obey. Listen. So he doesn't always have to listen, given that he's sick. Oh, also, what happened on Inside Out? She wasn't sick, but guess her emotions getting too much of her, getting getting too tired of it, causing more da mental damage. So the rest of her brain just stops responding. So I think this scene is this emotional numbness. We need to shut down her emotion for a while. There's no reason feminists are doing playing on people's emotions. And also Inside Out was not meant to be neurology accurate. Even though people do use it as a model for my for how the mind works and mental illness, even though that I read, like that huge pit inside someone's mind. And uh, I could say inside out is not is over supplication, but it's a cartoon for kids, but a lot of things seem to work just because work just because just because well, even though the idea, the concept, the concept of a world inside you, not just your head, inside your head, but inside your entire body, uh, the this, this stuff just writes itself. The democracy, all the signals going through your body, made me wonder this world, like a bug, like, is real, you know, like a Finding Nemo or a Bug's Life, when I learn more about real fish or real insects, despite some inaccuracies, they still seem to look less like cartoons and more like documentaries. Although I couldn't help but see some stuff. Train of thought at the hippocampus. It was integrates memory source memories, help us build schedules, and a sense of time and what's happening and when things happen. One reason we can't remember baby stuff, our memories get all mixed up, and they're so basic. It's not because of some hole inside of your head that exists only for a plot. A better plot for me would say the mind is so big it's easy, it's easy to get lost. And I would say the long-term memory, the temporal lobes, like we really taught in neurology, but there's actually memory that are stored all over the brain, so I guess long-term libraries could be anywhere. And where are the librarians in all of the, in this place? Why is mine so pretty empty for a world of Pixar? They've done crowds before. The personality islands aren't even inhabited. They can work that into the story too, how they're all being affected. Personalities are also places to store memories in Ralph's train of thought. 
of mostly Jones or all the indirect personality was they didn't say personality, but the general culture inside him was personality. They can work here too. They could have put people living inside the personality on the personality eyes as well. Their own team sports team. The subconscious also plays the store memories you rather not look at. But can still be brought back up or another layer. Things deeper buried sometimes, which is actually much closer to the memory dump than what they describe. So like I said, the memory dump a layer of subconscious. Where things finally get fade and be forgotten. The final fought forever. The final death. I think they did this in Avenger Time with the Brain Vault. Whatever. My problem is probably just Scare Virgin isn't how I would have imagined it. So it could be just my own taste. I mean, remembering childhood won't make you a child. If anything, that would help you mature. God, in fact, a lot of parental skills themselves are better if they from, learn from childhood. But that's just on the movie's philosophy. But more on my point of the video is... Look, look, here's language processing. Here's inductive reasoning, the prefrontal cortex. Here's language processing, the speech center. I think here's imagination land. So here, and here's where opinions, Dawson, where facts and opinions are made, formed. This is motor skills. Guess where Hockey Island would be here somewhere. And where do you think it's headquarters or the mayor's office? Not the amygdala, because we have amygdalas, one on each hemisphere. And guessing senses for your re reflex action as we see in the movie, both movies, in other versions about where the control panel inside your head is your reflex actions. I'm guessing it would be behind your frontal lobe, but in front of your limbic system and above your hypothalamus. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus, not hypothalamus. I think it would be here, the basal ganglia, which you provide in that area, or basal nuclei, at the tip of your hippocampus, and above your hypothalamus, and behind, between your hemispheres, behind your frontal lobe. right here. This is headquarters. This is the mayor's office. This is the hypothalamus. This is the pituitary. This is, guys, what's puberty? Uh, the pituitary gland.